little fucked up. <laughs> I do love Sum 41. I have a big spot in my heart, but they're like some of the biggest like failures of my probably personal living. You ever heard the Avril Lavigne conspiracy? She's dead. Because this is a little mainstream. Okay. And uh, man, you probably just like hate this shit so much. So. <laughs> Dude, this is actually fun. Uh, okay. 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 See. Okay. I shouldn't trust it. This this is shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If you want, you want to do that? Yeah. I can make some blood. Okay. It's yeah. hard not, yeah, especially it, with rap, it's hard not to put a flow to those fucking words. And it's funny, have you heard that song? Uh, yeah. Death Grips, uh, for those who don't know, is uh, one of my favorite bands. Yeah. What kind of drug do you think they do? What's up? What kind of drug do you think they do? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love being a Death Grips fan. It's coming out this year, it's called Year of the Snitch, that's all anybody knows. Um, Here's some people that are on it. Um, the director of Shrek 2 Whoa. is... You think he was like, yo, I need that Shrek shit on my track. Shrek, Shrek shit on my Shrek track. Rips. <laughs> Shrek up on my track. No, I think I think that the guy from Shrek acknowledged Death Grips and was like, if you could use me anyway. Lucas Abella, he's a uh, 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 noise rock, like experimental artist. He got a lot of tiny microphones put into his mouth and recording himself chewing glass for the new Death Grips album. Yeah, there's like videos of him like bleeding all over the place. They do all the drugs, dude. They do them they, all. They do them they all, I bet you. Yeah. To me, it's a folklore of the band. Right, it yeah. It could be real, but like, I love it. I don't, I don't want to try to challenge it. I just want to tell that story like I heard it. I want to go. Fuck, dude, that sounded like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Sad boy music. We ain't got no place to go. Let's go to the punk rock show. Bloody, Paramore? What's that? No, hell no. Okay. I don't know any Paramore on my... Okay, <laughs> I'm an asshole if I don't know this band. MXPX. Through Siberian woods breaking up their neck. Chinese moving and building discotheques. Trans-Siberian sex toys and whatnot. Oh well, at least it's something different from what they got in every other airport. Okay. Gorgo Bordellas. Yes. Yep. We all want a miracle to happen, you know? When you're looking for them, they don't happen. They happen when you're not looking for them. Break. So, our weekend started off with us going to see their band play at this Mexican restaurant in San Francisco. And uh, when we go there, Apparently it's a gay Mexican restaurant what? because there was like erotic like gay pictures on the walls and shit like just like the weirdest like the only picture of like a vagina had like a set of teeth in it <laughs> but I'm, like we met him because like he was walking and he dropped his heroin needle Police and we were like uh Oh uh, shit I go out there my pants literally just fall off around my fucking like knees listen you guys are the nicest people we've dealt with all day. We're gonna leave you alone. Just keep it down. We're one of the best concerts I've ever been to, to this day. Like, I look back on it like, holy shit. I fought my way up to the front row. Bro, once I'm there, goddammit, I'm there. And I turn around, and there's like a tranny giving him a blowjob. Dude, it's weird when somebody, when you know somebody's getting a blowjob right next to you, man. You don't. It's always. It's always awkward. 